In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Databricks workspace on Azure from the scratch. If you want to do this, you need Azure subscription and some fundamental knowledge about Azure Cloud Services. In my case, I'm going to use my Visual Studio Enterprise to create this. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to create your resource group where you can store your services. So I'm going to click on this resource group. You can even come to the search menu. I can click on this button and they can search for the resource group but it's actually much easier here so this is going to take you to this page basically i've got this cornerstone analytics rg so i'm going to create a new resource group so i'm going to click on create and then i can provide under the basic tab the subscription and the name of the resource group so i'm going to call this one databricks rg for resource group and this is fine so i'm going to stick with this east us region and you can do things like the tagging you can come to review plus create it's going to be validated and then at the bottom left click on create so this has been submitted and then we can click on go to resource group and there we go so we have the databricks rg resource group so we can go ahead and create our azure databricks so i can click on this create and then i can search for azure databricks and then click enter so i can say azure databricks click on that and it's going to take us to this page so we can see the information this is uh, microsoft azure databricks and then we have the overview you can click on the plans use it information support and the ratings plus review so just click on create And then we're going to say this create Azure Databricks workspace. And then we have the basics tab, the networking, the encryption, security, and compliance tab, and review for create. So under the basics, we're going to again provide the name of our application. And the name of the resource we just created is automatically detected, which is brilliant. And then we can provide the name of the workspace. So I'm going to call this one Cornerstone Analytics and i'm going to use the same region now under the pricing tier we can use this premium which is the robust access control you can, we have the standard apache spark secure with entry id you can even use the free trial the 14 days so anyone is fine but i'm going to stick with the premium robust access control and then for the managed resource group name this is absolutely optional now if you have visual machine you can actually do them under this employment this environment but this is not necessary for us so i can click at the bottom review plus create and it's going to be validated and then click on create okay so the deployment is not completed so i can click on go to resource and then we have the cornerstone analytics azure database service created so we can see again in the overview we have the data such as the status the resource group name the location and then we have the managed resource and then we have this url we can always use to log in so i can click on this launch workspace so this is going to open in a separate tab and then we're going to be in the Azure Databricks environment. Okay, so welcome to the Microsoft Azure Databricks environment. So if you're probably new, of course, this can look so busy, but it's so easy. So we're going to say this, welcome to Databricks, and you can search for things like the data, notebook, recent, and other things. Now, on the left-hand pane, we have the workspace. You can create a new notebook, you can create a query, dashboard, and so on and so forth. And then we have the recent, and then we have the unit catalog, if you have anyone created. But for now, we're going to have this sample one be created. And created automatically so we can click on the workflows we have the compute we're going to create our cluster to run any jobs and then under the sql we have the sql editor queries dashboard alert query history and so on and so forth in the future videos i'm going to be talking more on the sql editor and the sql warehouse and other things so we have the data engineering where we can do job runs data integration and then we have the amazing data line tables and then at the bottom we have the machine learning such as the experiment playground features models serving and so on and so forth so this is how we can easily create azure data breaks and we can access this environment thank you for watching bye for now